Hello again! This is episode 3 of the Studio Build-Out for... Okay, the YouTube channel is called Wave Waveform Orchard, but I don't know if we're naming anything at all yet. Uh, well, what we're going to do today is talk about this hole that I'm standing in. We're plugging a hole and working on this furniture. Try not to belch while you're talking. Makes things easier. Um, so a little background about about this uh, about this equipment or about this furniture is that this was previously in a broadcast studio uh, elsewhere, and it actually had a different board on it. It had an Audio Arts or Wheatstone, depending on uh, you know what you remember, R six thousand, which is this enormous forty eight strip board, huge forty eight channel uh, broadcast uh, broadcast mixer that had connectors on the bottom. So in order to use it, we are using, uh, you needed to cut a hole and then place the thing in the hole and it all fit in and docked in and it looked pretty good. We don't need that many channels in this studio and I don't want that many channels in this studio, even though I have two or three, uh, four, four R6000 boards because I can't say no ever. Um, so we're going to plug this hole, but here's the thing. Don't have a wood chop connected to my studio like some other people. Uh, and uh, I'm really bad at this sort of thing, uh, at, at wood or anything that if it hits you on the head hurts, I'm probably not very good at it. Code doesn't really hurt. Waves don't really hurt. I guess tidal waves might hurt. I don't know. Whatever. So I have some help, and I'd like to introduce them to you now. Uh, folks, would you come step into the camera, please? Just over here, maybe? Me too? Yes, both of you. Everybody. Here, folks. All right. So uh, this is... Uh, I've mentioned uh, her on the channel before. This is Becky. Uh, if you're familiar with some of my other projects. You've probably heard her before. Um, and uh, yeah, so she she's here to, to help out, probably for a lot of it to hold the camera, um, but also to make sure I don't fall over and die, because that's a thing that I might do. How are you, Becky? I'm well. I don't think that I am wielding anything that will hurt you if it hits you in the head. <laughs> so right. we're all clear. And then somebody that you might not be familiar with, except for the fact that I refer to her somewhat frequently, uh, is the person who helped me build my first studio. Uh, specifically, if you've been in the studio, she uh, she's the one who uh, corseted the uh, the rock wool uh, soundproofing in, in the attic, on the attic wall. Um, but as well, helped me build furniture and is just a lot more competent at, like, that part of it than I am. And that is Sharon. How are you, Sharon? Awake. Awake. Doesn't like being the center of attention. Who does, really? No. Oh, do you want to take over? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So we're going to plug a hole. Uh, we're also going to deal with some, um, some uh, other furniture changes that need to happen to this before it's ready for equipment installation. And we're also going to do some uh, changes to the furniture, to the, to the look of the studio room. I wonder if you can tell what we're going to change because uh, we're filming this out of order. Yeah. Atención, todos los clientes deben usar cubiertos faciales mientras realicen compras en nuestras tiendas. Hunting for lumber past the flocked Christmas trees. As in, there's a flock of them? There's a flock of Christmas trees, indeed. <laughs> the Christmas trees are flocking. That one looks... Okay. It's have... YouTube, you're supposed to film the frustrating parts. Oh. <laughs> So have we figured out how to be less frustrating? Uh, like, globally? No. Is this going to be one of the cabinet doors? Yeah, I think so. It is smaller in width or depth. And is that birch? Yeah. Okay. And, and then this birch one. But isn't this, isn't this, this is three quarters inch thick, and that oh, one's one inch one's thick. Three quarters. 
Aren't they both? That's half inch. It, oh, it's okay. dangles above. Got it. Woo! Okay. So this one is the same thickness as the other little cabinet door. Yep. Okay. Shall we? I don't have my gloves. It's not safety compliant for being here. <laughs> Make sure you feel my pants falling. So where are you fretting about the overhang? This part, right? Yeah. It's gonna be a sixteenth of an inch, so it's gonna be like that. Oh, I have another option. I have a router. We can just route it. Yeah. To do what? To build that onto this. Yeah. So you would just route the the we, smooth we put edges. The shape and then we just go around it. Yeah. Okay, so um, that we don't actually attach any molding. No, yes. we don't need molding. How even would you get it? It's a router, they tend to work pretty well. Yeah. And have They've we- have got a guide, it just kind of- Are you pointed at, what are you pointing? I'm pointing at you. Okay. Um, and are you- um... Never used it before, but- We haven't- got like a dozen bits. And we haven't sacrificed length on it, so that won't matter, no. right? No. And okay. we'll have some pieces to test on. Lots of pieces, yes. Yeah, before we begin- Commit. Yeah, commit to whatever. All right, let's, I approve. let's have cut done. On the, on that little one, will it still be okay for overlap on the cabinet? Supposedly. Okay. So we don't need the other piece? So no, we don't make it out of that one, definitely. So we don't need the right, this one I for the cabinet that. door. Yeah. Here, take hardware. Okay. Uh, pecan here looks a lot like your uh, board. It does. Uh, I think a big one is called for. Pecan. Cool. You're asking me if I want to go to the electrical department? Really? <laughs> yeah, every aisle after you guys have something in. I'm gonna try it. It says try me. <laughs> okay, come over here. Yes? From this angle, it lo <laughs> looks less scary and more... <laughs> <laughs> like seriously crude yeah unsanitary uh, <laughs> <I don't... laughs> all right does it fit well does it fall through the hole yeah if it fits we're in trouble <laughs> Really? Yeah. On this side too? If it 
They just barely fit. Okay. All right. It's a lot darker under here when it's covered. Wonder why that is. I'll have to get an under counter light. Yeah. So I guess the question is, do we want this going over this line, or do we want to keep it on entirely on this leaf? Uh, I cut it so that it could leave, it it could cover the line, the seam if we needed to, but uh, it doesn't have to. I don't know what's better. I don't think there is a better here. Okay. What's your uh, unless for some bizarre reason you need to emergency separate like the Enterprise. Yeah. But um. <laughs> uh, disc separation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Although for that, I think you just take the panel and run. Yeah. And just dangle all the cords behind you. Okay. You say that like lifting this thing is something that I could do. <laughs> uh. If you've got enough adrenaline, anybody that's in here could do that. Well, <laughs> as it happens, adrenaline isn't one of my problems right now. Um. All right. Well, I think that's not, I think that's too far. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, because these aren't... This is going to move around a little bit, so I'm kind of thinking of keeping it on. Actually, is that line square? <laughs> I don't know what square means. Square to what? Because we know that isn't square. This front edge. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mostly. <laughs> Kind of, sort of, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then maybe it's best to cover the line so that way you don't see where it doesn't run parallel to this. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. In which case... Looks good. For whatever addition, definitions of good we're using today. Yeah. Hold it two inches on each side. How about that? Okay. Not enough to store a cola on. Looking at the camera person. <laughs> it was a strawberry lemonade sun kissed. Oh, okay. Um, and then let's place the board. <laughs> My grip is mad. My grip is bad. And backwards. There we go. Nothing? This is our board. On a board. Being board. Being board. Ooh. Oh, I saw that move. I saw that move too. Okay, let's uh, put that down and make some marking things. Or tape or something. This is weirdly addictive. What, your weird, crazy... Yes, my snack. It's all the snacks of the middle school dance that have been dumped into one bag. I don't write! What part of I don't write? <laughs> That's why you're not a quartermaster. And I telecommute now, so... <laughs> I don't have teacher pockets anymore. Oh, did I just nail that? Do you not go grocery shopping? <laughs> why would you need a pencil grocery shopping? I cross off things on your list. Is this still good, Becky? Uh, poke at it. Poke at oh, it. Oh, for like the, yeah. here. You're our example human. Okay. I'm sitting here. Becky has a mic. This is closer. Is it closer? I think this is, yeah, because this came closer. Yeah, this is good. Okay. I can reach everything without having to like lean forward except for the stuff on the side. Which I don't think you're gonna need. So. I gotta work on my camera handoffs. I just put my hand in front of the camera. No, that's okay. All right, so that's where you need to yeah, route out that's the, the hole. hole. What's the big copper strip? Grounding? Grounding strip. Okay. What are we doing? Filling in the lines. Oh. With the ruler. Uh, I was just going to freehand it. You 
sure you want me doing this? You're bored. Come on. Have some ownership. <laughs> it's the responsibility of ownership that suggested to me that somebody who actually knows oh, what hang on, woodworking I, is. I get... Yeah, which one is it? Uh, I don't know. Which one parallels to over here? Um, n neither? Then fudge it. Okay. Pick the line that feels best. I like this one. <laughs> or have a longer ruler. Is that a straight edge? Should be. He used a fairly straight saw. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> one hopes. Yeah. If not, it'll match the rest of the table perfectly. <laughs> I literally just took the middle. All right. If you would operate the uh, jigsaw, I'd appreciate it, because I can't cut straight lines. a straight line worth nothing. Okay. Not quite sure how that's going to work on this table. What do you mean? I can't cut through the table. Yeah, I was kind of worried about that. Could we put it on this? Yes. Okay. Would we not want to do that? Well, I'd like, what, put it on the curb? Yeah. What's going to be on the other side? Or am I doing it at an angle? Because that's going to be a... Shaz bot. Or, uh... About the red shelf thing. We have two of those blue totes. We'll balance it across those. I'm not sure what you're talking about, so I'll just wait and the see. The cardinal totes. Okay. The ones I brought you. Nearly as well as I thought it would. <laughs> like, down yet, sideways, no. <laughs> Hang on. These do not stay on my head. They are my head sized. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna come forward for a car passing. <clears throat> Woodworking. Alright, one head clamp. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> There. Fits perfectly, actually. Isn't that the objective? <laughs> All right, is it a beautiful, beautiful trough? Yeah, it'll do. All right. Did you start routing our table? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I finished too. <laughs> Just in case I do something horrible and I have to go to the emergency room again. <laughs> Don't cut through the power cord. That would be something I do, wouldn't it? Clean. 
I do have rags. And what are you cutting them for? For the front part. The kickboards. Are the cabinets? Yeah, the kickboards. This is gonna be what holds them in. You know those the mm. ledge pieces? On the, on the cabinet walls. Yeah. So they don't need to be exact, but they need to be long enough. That's why I like this tool. How long does a spinning blade have to be spinning? I don't know, two seconds. <sighs> All right, Sam, have you nearly affixed the countertop to the countertop? Yeah, yeah you make it sound really boring when you put it on. <laughs> no, you've been uh, pretzeling yourself under there for half an hour, right? Has it been half an hour? Boy, I suck at this. Yeah, okay. Well, we're definitely manhandling the RLX now. It's disintegrating. Manhandling the RLX. I kind of want to jump on it. <laughs> With Becky and Shaq. It's like a one-way trampoline. It only goes down. <laughs> <laughs> In that way, isn't anything a one-way trampoline if it only goes down and not up? <laughs> It's a one-way trampoline, the same way a Buick and a Shamrock Shake is. <laughs> is that your own phone, Sam? That might be my phone. Not mine. You might want to go check on that. <laughs> I can't, I can't feel it at all. It's... Oh, that is yours. Yeah. Get it lighter. Okay. Hi, Mike. I'm busy right now. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Did you just drop stuff on him? Yes. Okay, you gotta move over here now. Okay. Yeah, that was trippy. What? That felt weird. <laughs> I, I, I won't think too hard about that. Ah! She's standing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's just one over there. You dropped one on me. I don't know where it went. Yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> It's like a pillow. Like you were putting it right here. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. It's the least comfortable pillow ever. I don't know. You ever use a buckwheat pillow? Yeah, why was that a fad? I don't know. How but much do I one. need to fill a uh, quarter of beanbag chair? But if it was a sleep-related fad, someone would have tried it. And me. That someone was me. Vampires versus the Bronx? Vampires versus the Bronx? Yes. I'm not familiar with that one. I don't know. Apparently it's on Netflix. Okay. You're going to be really let down when we finally put the board in place and your favorite sitting spot's gone. Yep. So it's exactly three-fourths of an inch up from the lip. Yeah. I need to do this Need another 
elbow in here. Just an elbow? Because I can do that. There we go. No, I need a, another. Need another joint in your arm? Yes. Trust me, I've had that thought several times. This is cozy back here. <laughs> ah, hey, you're letting the corner out. Oh, crap. <laughs> Me and my elbow joke. I don't know, the top's creeping away. Yeah, it's like that's, I said, that's it's the warping warp. somewhere. Yeah. Here, I'll hold this side. Yeah. Okay, that's everybody marked. Okay, let's do one side first completely and then okay. Can see I come how it fits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not cask of Amontillado I'm and Sharon for, in there. Becky, could you possibly get out so that I can get out so that Sharon can get out? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's looking for guidance. No, I'm watching her eat. <laughs> well, our masks are crafted by Sharon. And they're not seen right now. We live in a duplex? Because because Sharon is <laughs> part of our household. Yeah. And we are part Not of Sharon's household. But our house is Sharon atmosphere, so. <clears throat> we are embubbled. If we were in a space station, we'd be Bay Alpha. She'd be Bay Beta, so. Or, no. Yes, because A, B, right, yeah, okay. Right? That's where the mail goes. Right, okay. Except for all the times that you collect our mail. <laughs> Just the ones, so far. That's where the mail's supposed to go. Okay. Are they all lined up with their pieces, of, or their uh, uh, pencil? Yeah, they're lined up with a pencil, mostly, right. except for that one, possibly. Uh, horizontally? Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Um, slide them all out. Nope. Why don't we see how they fit? All right. <laughs> uh, this isn't weird. <laughs> Sweet. I have to go medicate our diabetic cat. It's always about the cats. <laughs> Why do we have them? Because right. they're cute. We, we love them. Because otherwise life might not be worth living. Yeah, got it. <laughs> uh, I was going to buy another thing of hydrogen peroxide today. I'm oh, not, for I, That's related to cats is probably telling about me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so, uh, what do we got here? So this is the board after, uh, cutting out the mail slot in it. Um, and what was it called? Routing, using the router on the edges. And then you stained it. No, and then we sanded it. Um, and then I stained it and it looked really pretty and I set it to dry and then you came in and you're like, this is horrible to the touch. <laughs> I was really disappointed. I maybe cried a teeny bit. And then realized that taking a super light um, fine grit sand to it is fine and it's just what is required anyway and then you wipe it down with a little mineral spirit rag afterwards and it is smooth and beautiful and shiny and nice except for all of this junk but that's going to be hung you know like underneath the mixing board anyway yep so i wasn't worried about that okay so these curtains that came with the unit are great in that they give the illusion of a long window and it's great to cover up this very long picture window. Not so great for when your windows are really short and you have things like, oh, I don't know, lots of radio equipment that need to be in them. So we are going to halve the curtains. So you have pinned and now you are sewing in half.
Berserk. Well, that's all we've got for this third episode in our Studio Build-Out series. The, um, things that cover... Win what are they called? Uh, well, curtains? Curtains are now good and stay out of my way. Uh, this big, big hole that was in this table is no longer so big and is now a slot that perfectly fits in with this mixer board. And then we have kick boards underneath that will keep people's feet out of the wiring, which will be super handy moving forward. I'd like to thank Becky uh, for, for her help, and I'd like to thank Sharon for her, her help as well. Thank you both very much for getting me uh, past this point, which I was having some trouble with, and now I can move forward with the project. Uh, to that end, in the next episode, we're going to start dealing with some of the audio parts of the studio. We're going to look at the microphone processors, some of the things that will be in the wow wow side of the chain. Um, yeah, the microphone processors, it might clean up this board a little bit. And uh, we'll take it from there. See you then. So I can't thank Becky and Sharon enough. Becky for a lot of reasons, which... You know, you might expect and we'll discover as time goes on. And then Sharon for not only the skill set she provides, but a lot of the, I guess in some cases, external confidence that I sometimes need to do something that I'm not very comfortable doing. And making woodworking not look like junk is something that I am particularly not very good at. That aside, I still need to thank my patrons. Below is a list of the people who helped support this episode, my podcast, and this radio station that I'm working on. Without you guys, none of this would be going on. You can join my Patreon by following the link in the description. It will take you to the page, and being a patron means you get uh, early access to episodes and other content as it happens. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, in addition to starting to work on some of the audio stuff for episode four, we are getting ready for this whole election thing that's coming up. The radio station intends to cover it, and I need to do some technology before then, some of which you may see here on the channel. Not sure how that's going to work out yet, but stay tuned.